No less than seven Russian T-90 tanks were spotted at an airbase close to the Syrian city of Latakia, a fortification of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Russian cannons units have additionally been found in the zone. It is said that Russia has requested the development of an immense 1.000 workforce compound to backing Syria's pioneer. Recently Russian planes were seen flying in Syrian airspace, fueling hypothesis Vladimir. Putin was get ready to dispatch strikes against Islamic State fear targets. Western political sources have guaranteed Russia is prepared to send thousands of troops into war-desolated Syria. On the off chance that they're moving individuals in to help the Syrian government battle their own particular battle, that is one thing, one told the Los Angeles Times. In any case, on the off chance that they're moving in ground powers and dropping bombs on populated zones, that is a totally diverse matter. The U.S. has beforehand communicated worries about developing Russian military contribution. In the contention, a representative for the U.S. State Department said, the secretary made clear that if such reports were exact, these activities could further heighten the contention, lead to more noteworthy loss of guiltless life, expand outcast streams and danger showdown with the counter-ISIL coalition working in Syria. Also, White House Representative Josh Ernest included, We are mindful of reports that Russia may have sent military staff and airship to Syria, and we are observing those reports nearly. Any military backing to the Assad administration for any reason, whether it's as military workforce, airplane supplies, weapons, or subsidizing, is both destabilizing and counterproductive. Mr. Putin has already consented helping the Syrian administration. We are as of now giving very genuine help with gear and preparing fighters with our weapons, he said. The news comes as the UK government gets ready to dispatch more automaton strikes against ISIS terrorists in Syria. Two jihadists were killed by a RAF automaton a month ago and Defence Secretary Michael Fallon has said the UK won't delay to dispatch further assaults if fundamental. There are different terrorists included in different plots that may work out as expected throughout the following couple of weeks and months and we wouldn't dither to make comparable move once more, he said. It's to a great degree hazardous in light of the fact that these are assaults that have been and are being arranged against real open occasions on our roads. They are conceivably assaults on individuals from our military and on others, which would be to a great degree unsafe and would clearly include the death toll. Government has an obligation, where it has data and the capacity to counteract such assaults. Government has an obligation to manage it. The Syrian common war, in which around 250 000 individuals have kicked the bucket has brought about almost a large portion of Syria's pre-war 23 million solid populace to escape, with numerous thousands endeavoring to reach Europe.